that people simply won't understand why this place is packing up and having a two-week holiday when we face the biggest constitutional crisis that this country has had. It's incredibly irresponsible, the situation we've been landed in. It's almost unbelievable that Parliament's rising and going on holiday for two or three weeks uh, when the clock is ticking in this way. We are then left with a narrow window when we return in January to find a way forward out of the government's Brexit timetable. It cannot be done. Nothing is going to happen over Christmas and the New Year. <laughs> Can I ask the Prime Minister to bring forward her meaningful vote this week? Can I ask the Leader of the Opposition to bring forward his motion of no confidence this week? And then this week we can move on to where we know we are going, and that is a people's vote. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say to the right honourable gentleman, uh, no, the, there are further discussions continuing with the EU, EU and those will continue into the new year. Yeah. MPs yeah. in this place would be happy to delay recess. Frankly, I'd be happy to sit through Christmas and into the new year if it meant we could find a direction on Brexit for businesses and people who want certainty about where this country is going. There is nothing more important for this House to debate right now, and we have to now find a route through. If the government doesn't want that, then it has to surely bring the House back on the 3rd of January, when bank holidays in this country have been had, so that people going to work know that, knows, know that their parliament is going back to work too, and finding a direction for this country.